Hello guys, I'm Herman. Today in this video, I'm going to show you a new component that I've bought in my workshop to measure energy consumption. This is the PSM sensor and this version is the PSM 0040 energy monitor. This monitor can be used to measure voltage, power, current, energy, frequency and power factor. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it to measure all those quantities. Let's get started. As you can see, mine came in this box, and let's unbox it. This device comes in two parts. We have the current measurement controller itself and the PZC2 module. This device can measure current up to 100 amperes and voltage up to 220 volts. So we're going to wire them together using this diagram. For that we're going to need an Arduino Uno and Dupont cables. Let's do the connection and come back. Okay, so to connect this to the Arduino, we're going to have to take note of these pin connectors here. Since we have two of them, we have this one for the 5 volt, we have the ground, we have the transmitter, and we have the receive. All these things are going to be connected to the Arduino. And here we have to, this is the high voltage site where we connect our load and the mains power supply. Okay, now that we have wired the circuit following the diagram that I just showed you, we are going to test the circuit after uploading the code. Okay, now that we have everything wired as shown by the diagram, we now have to program our Arduino using the Arduino IDE. This is the code of our program and in this case I'm going to show you how everything is done. Before we get started, we have to download this library. And I'm going to show you how to include it in your Arduino IDE. To do that, we have to come into Sketch. After downloading, we go into Add Library and then go to click Add Zip. In my case, I downloaded the library in the download folder. Since I've already included, there's no need doing that again. After including the library, we now have to include it in our project. We have it connected on pin 9 and pin 8 of the Arduino board. We initialize the serial monitor by giving it a baud rate of 9600. And then in the loop function, we now start reading the parameters. The first parameter we're going to read in this case is the voltage. And then we display the parameter on the serial monitor. The next parameter is current. And then we display the parameter on the serial monitor. The next parameter is the power. We display its value on the serial monitor. The next one is energy. The next one is frequency. And the next one is the power factor. And then after reading all these parameters, we, do, we don't read them in a series of very high frequency. So we have to give it a small delay of 2 seconds between reads. After all this is done, we have to upload the program into our Arduino board. To do that, we have to plug the Arduino board to the computer using the USB cable. And then the Arduino board is going to indicate here, we're going, we are using the Arduino Uno in our case so we have to go in and select the arduino board that we are using avr board and then here we are using the arduino uno and then we select the port where the arduino is connected in our case is this com3 and then we come now and click upload You can see right there. Since our serial monitor is already activated, right here you will see some some values already descent, being sent from the serial monitor. The first value is the voltage. The second value is current. The third value is power. The, the, the next value is energy. The next value is frequency, and the last value is the power factor. Right now we don't we don't have anything connected to our load. That's why you're seeing everything being displayed as zero. We're going to connect that and then you'll see what we have. 
Okay, this is the PZ, this is the PZIM sensor already connected to the Arduino board here. And then we're going to use this small pressing ion of 800 watt as our load. And right here, this is where we're going to connect these things. The pressing ions outlet. Now we have our load connected. We have to now test everything together and see how everything displays on the serial monitor. This is our mains power. We're going to have it connected here. And now we can head on back to the computer and see how everything goes. So you can see how the readings are now coming out, right? We have the, our mains voltage as 191 volt. We have current to be 2.5 amperes. We have the power giving us 4.74. We have the energy being displayed, the frequency 50 hertz and the power factor equal to one. I hope this makes everything clear. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, this is Herman's lab coming up with a new project after a whole long time without posting a video. I hope you find this video interesting and if you find yourself within Cameroon and you need any of this project, please contact the number that displays on the bottom of the screen. We have everything provided for you. We sell electronics components, we sell modules, we sell Arduino, we sell STM32s, ESP32, ESP cameras. We have a whole lot of sensors that we can use that you can use to develop your final year project and a lot more thank you all so much for watching this video i'll see you next time on the next one goodbye